Oprah, you play an unspoken hero in this film in my mind. You know, you're the wife of this man who has this big place in history, but in the real world, you have a huge, a huge place in history, what you've accomplished on your own. How do you want to be remembered in history? What I do every day is try to be, uh, con uh, to, to, to allow the truth to speak through me and to open people's hearts and to let them see the greater possibility for themselves. That's what I do. That's what I did every day on the Oprah show. That's what I do in my magazine. That's what I do. And I think the work that you've done speaks for you. I remember when I opened my school in South Africa and I said to Maya Angelou, gee, this will be my legacy. This school's gonna be my legacy. And Maya, in her Maya way, said, you have no idea what your legacy will be. Your legacy is what you do every day. Your legacy is every life you've touched, is every person who's um, life was either moved or not. It's every person you've harmed or helped. That's your legacy. So I don't, I don't think about it. I just try to live it. So we see so many different presidential administrations throughout this film. How do you think that this film will affect the world's impression of the Obama administration? It's so easy during this time, Trayvon Martin, Trayvon Martin parallel to Emmett Till, let me just tell you. In my mind, same thing. Um, but you can, you can get stuck in that and not allow yourself to move forward and to see how far we've come. Look at how far we have come. Look at the butler's life. Look at that opening scene, the hanging, and then the end. Look at, in one man's lifetime, we need to give ourselves a round of applause in this country with all of its injustices. Look at what we've been able to do in the span of one man's lifetime. So to uh, look at all of those administrations compared to Obama. I mean, Obama will stand alone because of what that represented for the country. I was so pleased that uh, during the process of this interview, a white reporter sitting in the very chair that you're sitting in saying he didn't realize until seeing this movie the, the depth of the importance of Obama. But seeing that movie and the context of the civil rights movement now allows him to see, wow, that it's really bigger than he thought. And if you come away from that movie with that, well, we've done our job.